kwa shughuli nzima ya kuweza kuteketeza Today, we put an additional fire of freedom to secure the values that we all hold so deeply. By publicly destroying illicit weapons, Kenya once again openly demonstrates that we are determined and ready to face the challenges posed by small arms and light weapons. Kenya's recovery of illicit small arms and light weapons is in tandem with the African Union's call for silencing the guns in Africa by the year 2020. Although this AU target has not been fully achieved by the deadline that we set for ourselves, individual countries, including our own Kenya, have made excellent progress towards that goal. Forces. The Chief the General of the National Police, Harrison, of the Department of Members of Parliament are here on institutions that are helping us, and Rady and his team, for the wonderful work they have continued to do. Um, who have worked very closely with us, uh, including respect. Uh, just this morning I gave you one example of... It is, however, important to point out that notwithstanding successes made that have given ri rise to even today's event, we must always recognize that the fight is not yet won. The Eastern African region remains awash with illegal small arms and light weapons, some of which are likely to continue to find their way into our country. We need to collect all illegal weapons in Kenya and across the region in order to rebuild real peace in our communities. And I therefore call upon all our citizens who may in any way and for whatever reason be in possession of illegal firearms to submit the weapons to our authorities under the cover of the amnesty for illegal possession of firearms. An illegal gun makes you less safe, not more safe. 